Turning for further north now, another evacuation to tell you about. This one in the Northwest Territories. People from Hay River and the nearby Catlodache First Nation woke up to their second day in Yellowknife. About 3,500 people are staying there because a wildfire raged so out of control yesterday, crews had to stop fighting it. The CBC's Juanita Taylor has the latest now from Yellowknife. As you just mentioned, crews were ordered to stop fighting the fire yesterday, and that's because smoke and winds got so out of control that those fire crews were told to stop fighting the fire. Now, we know that as of yesterday, about 15 homes and buildings on the Cutlodeche First Nation have been destroyed. We haven't gotten an update as of yet to that number. We don't know when officials will be going into Hay River and the Cutlodeche to, you know, assess the damage and the extent of the loss there. Um, blockades have been set up at the entry to Hay River. Of course, that's so people won't uh, go into the community. Most people have come here to Yellowknife from the Kotlodeche First Nation as well as Hay River and staying at an evacuation center here. Now, Arthi, all this began on Sunday when at around 11 o'clock at night, residents were ordered to leave their homes and to drive here to Yellowknife. And that's about a five-hour drive on the highway. And of course, you can imagine, Arthi, just the ordeal that folks in Hay River and uh, from the Kotlodeche First Nation have had to experience over the last couple of days. And this is also the second year in a row people in Hay River and the Katlodeche First Nation have had to flee Yellowknife. So tell us more about that. Yeah, well, last year, Arthi, it was the floods. This year, it's a wildfire. We spoke to some people yesterday at the evacuation center where there are about 700 people who, as of yesterday, registered with the evacuation center. And here's what one resident from the Katlodeche First Nation shared with us. Take a listen. I thought it was a dream. I thought it was a dream, and um, after I seen uh, all that, all the flames coming off the, off the reservation, you know what? I, I was kind of worried about the wind direction. If the wind direction changes, it's going to be devastating, and that's that's exactly what happened. But again, is Brian Fabian, one of the evacuees staying here in Yellowknife at the evacuation center, where, as you mentioned earlier, Arthi, about 3,500 people have had to evacuate both Hay River and the Kalodeche First Nation. Now, we spoke to the Premier of the Northwest Territories yesterday, Premier Carolyn Cochran. She told us that her government will do the best that they can to make sure that they replace the homes that have been damaged. And I'll mention again, we know that 15 homes and buildings so far have been damaged. We don't have a final number on that as of yet. Of course, the, the fire is still active in the area. Officials, Arthi, have not said um, when official or when residents can return home uh, to Hay River or the Cutlodeche First Nation, but we will be keeping our eye on this developing story. The CBC's Juanita Taylor in Yellowknife.